Hello, my name is Sally Pinto, and I'm the program director for the Yonkers NORC Neighborhood Naturally Occurring Retirement Community. We serve seniors 60 plus in Northeast Yonkers. We are under the auspices of WJCS and the Yonkers Office for the Aging. We also have a resource specialist and a nurse on staff. We conduct virtual programming when partnership with the Yonkers Public Library on a daily basis. Enjoy the program. So we're going to start on, well, my left, probably your right. Um, and we're going to start with just nothing too crazy. We're just kind of drawing little spouts of water, I guess. We're going to do two like that. And then we're going to have some space in the middle, like that. We're going to leave and then continue that this way. And then in this open space is where we're going to make our surfboard. So we're going to just, um, like, Halfway up on this one, we're going to go up. And down like that. And then right above that, we're going to do the same thing. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to do our like lower body for our lion. So starting from the top, um, if we look at the tip, let's just go over a little bit and make a line going up. And then from there, we're just going to, right now we're making his uh, swim trunks. Just go along like that. Kind of like a swoop. This is the outer bit of his swim trunks. This is what it's gonna look like. Uh, I'm gonna, direct you back to where we started this time. Just draw a line here. I don't know how to describe where that is, um, but right now we're making the leg. So where you would think um, his leg would be, because you don't want to make it too thin, but you don't want to make it too long. So this, and then we are going to go in and then extend it out a little more and make like a little L. And then we're just going to go where this L is, we're going to now go down and finish it off. And then where we started at, we're just gonna go up. And this is his knee. This is the inside of the trunk and this is the outside of the short. Um, and then we're just gonna go back to this one. Uh, we're going to do this. It's a little short. And then go up. And then we're gonna just make his little look. And there we go. We got two legs. Actually, I don't like where that leg is. It's perfect. Over here. Yeah, that's all right. Um, we are now just going to, just gonna block out 
where his body is going to be. It's going to be like here-ish. You want to leave a little space going out of the shorts, just because it's not going to be like sewn onto him. It's going to be, it's going to have a little bit of depth, I guess. Yeah, that's the right word. Um, we're going to start on this side where the back leg is, this side of the body. And we're going to have his hand going outwards. So we're just going to start his arm and then make a little pinky. And when I was drawing this, I kind of thought of Alex from Madagascar. And the way that they made his fingers were very blocky. So that's just kind of how I made these fingers. Um, We're just going to make these four fingers. And then it's a little thumb. Like that. So you want to, from the index finger, just go down a good amount. I'd say about a little more than halfway of where we drew his body line, a little bit more than halfway. And then you want to do a little, I don't know, like where uh, the crease would be here or like where if you would go like that it would stick out do a little that and then you can then make your thumb and then we'll just close it off and then where we have this body line erase it that's his back bone there's back hand kind of don't like how wide that is Uh, that's two. We'll just make it what it was. Now we'll go over here. In this one, he's going to be making a hand towards you. So how we're going to start this is we're just going to make a circle. Right here, right next to where we drew the body, just draw a decently sized circle. Um, let's see, if you wanna, yeah. I'd say it should be about um, two pencil heads, two and a half pencil heads length. If you wanna compare it to that, I don't know how long that actually is, but, um, and now we are going to start making his inner hand, not the inner hand, the hand on the inside of the circle. Now just start with this little squiggle kind of thing. And then you're going to start rounding it off. And then when you get to here, we're gonna start making his fingers uh, cause we're having to make a peace sign. So we're gonna be doing the two fingers that are going down right now. We have his pinky. And then just curve that off. Don't make it too rough. Uh, this one you're going to just curve off like that. And then using the line from the uh, inside of the pinky, we are going to then make the ring finger. And again, just curve that off when you're done. And then from the ring finger, you're going to start here and then go up. And there's the middle finger. And we are going to quickly just add the index finger so it's nothing too crazy. And here we go. That's the peace sign. And then we'll go in and make the thumb. But inside the index and middle finger, just get rid of the circle that we drew before. Like that. Now, if we go to the bottom of the hand over here, um, start just a tiny, not all the way at the bottom, just right above it, like here ish. And then make a line or a curved line going like this. Like that. 
And now we're gonna make his pads on the inside, which are gonna kind of, on the fingers, they kind of look like the top of a exclamation point if you were to make it blocky, but without the circle. So it's like a trapezoid, but elongated, like stretched out. That one looks more like a rectangle, and that's okay. And then we'll do the one in the middle. And this is your body for the most part. Now we are going to work on the head. So we are going to take his shoulder and actually make it now. Uh, just right here, just go up and like curve in a little like that. And then from here, we're just going to go down and make like a J like that. Let's go around and we're going to be curving. I'm going to go up like that. Point it up. When we get to the top over here, we go down and then up and give him like a little middle part. And this is going to be the main. And now we're going to give him little ears. We made it little, actually, a little too pointy. There's a little ear sticking out, and we got his hair just kind of fraying out from where the ear pokes out. And then we'll go to the other side. You kind of want to do it slightly above, like you don't want it to be perfectly in line. You want it to be just a little bit up because his head is kind of tilted like that. And I'll get rid of the one. And we'll do a little. And that is the main. Um, yeah, now we're going to do his face, which took me forever to get right. When I first did it, I made him look 
I wanted him to have a serious face, but I couldn't get the eyes just right because I kept making him look angry instead of just like in the zone. So we are going to make him happy. So inside the main, kind of like, if you look at it and if you were to shrink it down evenly, you kind of want it to be right in the center. Um, I'll start making it. So kind of just right in there, like that. You want to make like a little Mickey Mouse kind of thing going on, and then a little curve right here. And he kind of looks like a monkey right now, but we'll fix it. <laughs> we'll do little hairs like that. And then same thing on the other side. And then we are going to go to the inside and make this little mouth. So you want to make just like two little circles, but not exactly circles, like slanted eggs almost. It'll look like an egg, like a little fat egg, but two of them. And then right above that, his nose is going to look like a smushed Hershey kiss, but upside down. Actually, it's not too smushed. It's a Hershey kiss. Upside down. Let's round this off. Like that, right in the middle of where these two are. And then from where you want to make it so that you're drawing a line going a little bit inwards, but it's gonna cut off these two little hairs that we make on both sides, like that. I think I actually made this just a little too long. <laughs> you don't wanna make them crazy, just a little bit. Because then we are going to make his bottom chin, which is just going to be Like that. I don't like that. Like that. So you go down, swoop back around. And then connect your two lines with this little swoop, and then just do another one. And then that's your mouth. And then to make, we're gonna make his teeth. So all the way at one end, just go up and make a little swoop. And then just go across horizontally. And then when you get to the end, do another one. And then right above that, we'll make a little. Just a little curved line, and that's gonna be his tongue. And at the top, make two little teeth. Just sticking a little, two little fangs, I'll say. Just sticking out. Okay. And now the eyes, <laughs> because I had to actually, I pulled, I, I don't know. I was I called an audible. Um, I'll show you kind of how it was before. Yeah, he looked a little too angry. Uh, so that was my sample. So we're making him happy instead. He's not serious at all. He's just living life. So we're going to make one little swoop like that as one eye but we're going to turn it into an, I guess like an arrow pointing this way. And then we're gonna, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
going to make a little arrow. And then we're going to make his eyebrows. Little crescent moons. High up though, because he's expressing himself with his eyebrows. And that's your happy lion giving you a peace sign on a skateboard. Skateboard, a surfboard. Whoa. I'm actually going to get rid of this line right here. Like that. All right. There we have it. Now to color it. Um, I used like an autumn. Oh, I forgot my blue. Well, that's fine. We'll make do. So I just have like an autumn set of colors going on. Um, I have a dark brown, a lighter brown, black, and then red, orange, yellow. Um, if you have like a peach color, uh, use that for certain things. Um, I don't. So I'm just going to make like a yellow orange. So it's gonna look a little weird on my end, but if you have peach, do that. Um, especially for his little, I guess like his, the middle of his torso is going to be a lighter color than the outside part. Um, but we're going to start bottom up. This, if you have like a light blue, do light blue, I don't, so I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna take my black for the surfboard. If you have gray, use that. I'm just gonna try and go really lightly. And you can make your surfboard, uh, surfboard uh, any color you want. I'm just making it a, uh, a gray. But you can add a little design on it if you want. And then up here in your little border thing, border thing, they're going to just make it darker. All right, now we are moving on to orange. Now, you can make him however dark you want. I'm just gonna make it a light orange. Just two lights. And then we'll move up. I'll actually block out so you can see what I'm talking about. We're going to make this in the middle a lighter color, this much. Everything else on the outside is going to be darker. Or I'll say a different color. When I made this original one, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This one. I used peach in the middle and then like an orange on the outside. I don't have peach with me um, right now. So we're going to improvise, but orange on this outer bit. And we're just gonna continue this into his hand or into his arm and then into his hand.
Uh, we're going to go into the opposite hand. And on this, on the circle, the outer circle loop, we're going to make orange, the same orange. And then on the thumb, the ring and the pinky finger, we're going to make the same color. And then um, that peach color that you use in the middle, use that on the inside of the hand. And then we're going to just make the pads black. So I'm gonna see how yellow works here. I'm gonna experiment here. I'm gonna see if I could. I don't know how good these are at blending, but I'm gonna try and blend orange and yellow together. If it doesn't work, then well, now we know. <laughs> that just looks interesting. Oh, well. Um, for the shorts, you can make them whatever color you want. On um, uh, my first one, I made them um, blue uh, just because I wanted them to pop a little more. On this one, I'm actually going to first just make this line also a little darker. And then I'm using red, you can use whatever color you want, and I'm just gonna make these red. Ooh, actually, I forgot. I wanted to add a little waistband, so I'm just gonna draw a little line. Going like that, right underneath, nothing too crazy. And that line, we're just going to make darker than the rest of the shorts. And we're going to make this little flap a darker red, like the same shade of red as the waistband, basically. All right. Uh, we're going to move to his head. Oh, not that too. Oh. Uh, we're going to first do his ears. I'm just gonna make mine all orange. Um, actually, let's do the top bit orange and then the little inner bit, um, like a pink. I don't have pink with me, so I'm just gonna do a light red. And then same thing on the other side.
But if you have pink, use pink on the inside because then you're also going to want to use pink in this map. Um, peach, what else are we going to make peach? We are going to make this part, this little, we're going to make his entire mouth peach, like that. Everything that I make yellow, you're going to want to do peach. You don't have peach. Um, everything that you made orange, just make darker and then do a light orange on everything that would be peach. I'm just gonna be making it yellow, just so you see the contrast. And then his entire face part is going to be the same color as his body. We're going to make his nose black. We can actually just go over his eyes with black, just so they stand out a little bit more. Make his eyebrows your light brown. And then his mouth, uh, like his tongue is gonna be pink and then the rest of his mouth is just gonna be a darker, slightly darker pink. Like that. And then you leave his teeth white. Um, yeah, it looks a little weird with yellow instead of peach, but what can we do? Now for his mane, um, we are going to, Start on the left, and we are going to do a really light brown, like this. Just exactly where I'm doing, just along this edge right here. And then next to that, we are going to do a darker brown. Not too much darker, just enough. And also if the texture is coming out weird, I'm on a weird scratchy table. I won't probably want. Um, but if you're on a flat, table then yours shouldn't really look like this texture. I'm actually just gonna outline. Actually, do you know what we'll do? This may be easier to show you. Take your dark brown and do this bit dark brown. Just like that. Now, everything else, actually, we'll do up here too. Up here, dark brown. Now, everything else is going to be um, the medium brown. So not your light brown, not your dark brown, but this one in the middle is going to be everything else.
And you don't want these lines in the middle. I was just making these to show you um, that's what is going to be the lighter color on his body. And yeah, there you go. You have your lion on a surfboard. Um, and yeah, this part is going to be blue. You could also uh, have little like little droplets flying out. And you color those the same color they use to hold the water, something like that. So, do we have any questions? <laughs> mm, his eyes look a little weird. Oh, well. <sighs> any questions? Yeah. All right. I like it. Yeah, it's okay. Um, if I had the right colors, it would have turned out just a little better. But also, I'm looking at it now. I made his eyes a little off. So you don't want his eyes like that. Let's see. Do I have a sample one? Nice look. Yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. The sample that I did. You want them to be like let's see if i can draw like that almost like an eyebrow how you do on some characters that you may draw but this is going to be his eye going like that hi everyone this is z from yonkers public library Thanks so much to Sally Pinto and Alexis from Nork. Thank you to our community partners, WJCS, the City of Yonkers Office for the Aging, Friends of Crestwood Library, and Yonkers Public Library for making this phenomenal partnership. And we thank each and every one of you for being part of our wellness community. Be well, stay well. <laughs>